I woke up last night, I turned on the light, but the room just kept spinning. Thought I had to scream, you were fast asleep, and I knew what you were dreaming. Your face looked like a moon, reflected in a spoon, outside a car and some June bugs were singing. We are all just waiting, we are all just waiting, we are all just waiting in the way. Guy had actually sort of just decided to shelve everything for a while. I was having trouble writing, I wasn't sort of coming through with anything that I really liked. I had like Adam Smashers and Comrades and a couple things that I'd played live a lot but that I felt lyrically were, were kind of a new sort of direction or different than some of the stuff that I'd done before. So I didn't really have, I didn't really know how they were going to fit with the regular stuff that I did. We are all just waiting. We are all just waiting. I took a writing workshop with Linda Berry. It sort of helped me turn a corner writing-wise and sort of being more disciplined about writing and stuff like that. I used to just kind of sit on my ass and wait for things to happen. I would play guitar and so if something would come up, I would write a song. But recently I've really started to try and like actually write every day. Not necessarily write songs every day, but just put something down on paper, like random words or images. And then when I really want to write a song, I've got a notebook full of stuff to choose from. Started with words in a bar on a late winter's evening. By the first flush of spring, sides were chosen and lines were drawn. The red summer set on fields of banners waving. And the autumn leaves fell like bodies from the battlements. We dug in, played to win, for we knew that our cause was righteous. It did not matter that we knew not what it was For the radio said that the lives of our wives and babies Were under attack by vampires and aliens yeah. It all came together really quickly. I went to the workshop and then I was like, two months from now I'm gonna make a record. And I only had like half the songs. So then I wrote the other five pretty much just in that two month period, which is pretty quick for me. And then we went in and did the record. We did two days of tracking, and then we, I did a few things at home, and then we mixed it in four days. So it was done, it was done in about a week. We took the antidote, oh it was a bitter pill. It rearranged the past. Made us forget how we used to feel. The poison was a part of us. It made us who we were. Now we're just faces and names and numbers on the calendar. And now I realize there's more to life than just being alive. We're living in the aftermath. I don't know how, but at least we survive. Living in the Aftermath was one of the first songs that I wrote after I had sort of gone and seen Linda Berry. It was mostly a writing exercise. And then I wrote it and I was like, this would be great as like the theme song to like whatever the new version of 30 something is gonna be. On the way we used to be Sometimes I almost miss All the drama and the tragedy Cause blood is a funny thing Sometimes the more you gain You just have to know when to stop Cause there's no life in an empty vein And now I realize There's more to life than just being alive We're living in the aftermath I don't know how but at least we survive I didn't set out to write political songs. I do think that you can find that in the songs, but I was more interested in, in, in putting together interesting images and had sort of started working on some new ways of 
of writing lyrics. And I've been getting more and more into um, sort of comics and sci-fi and stuff, which is something that I was into when I was younger and have recently gotten back into, much to my girlfriend's chagrin. The Adam Smashes, the King of All Monsters, and the Man of Tomorrow. You give my best to the plantation masters, the captains of industry. Kiss for me, sweet Virginia. Hope for me, Miss America. Give my love to the Statue of Liberty. Give my regards to the nuclear family, the five percent nation, and the Salvation Army. My best the wizards of Wall Street, the dragons of the KKK. That's all pulled from my comic geekness. I think a lot of my liberal tendencies like come from the X-Men. So it's basically this big metaphor on race that I really like I think it really informs how I view the world. Tell my eyes, I will miss them. Tell my hands, I forgive them. And That one was maybe sort of political, but it doesn't like make a statement. It's like a, I'm like a really non-committal political songwriter. I'm just like sort of annoyed by everything, but I'm not gonna like talk to you like I know any better than anyone else. Give my regards to the suicide bomber, the patriot actor, and the trust fund folk singer. Yeah, give my best to the corporate rock soldier, the Kimmo softball team. Kiss for me, the heavy-handed metaphor. Hope for me, the self reverential troubadour. Give my love to all my brothers and sisters in mediocrity. For so long, I was writing about sort of relationship stuff a lot, and then I wanted to do some things that were a little more abstract or a little more sort of um, imagery-oriented, if, if that is a word. It took 40 days and 40 nights to get myself feeling right. The desert in my head was dry as a bone. I followed breadcrumb trails and Christmas lights, street signs and satellites. Even shouted your name through a cheap megaphone. Cause you burn like something that burns. And you sing like something that sings I know there are no words to describe Such a beautiful thing It's so much more fun now writing when it's actual writing Instead of, like I say, pulling things from, from, from like a relation What really happened was that I got into a good relationship And I was like, well, I can't, what am I going to write about? I, I have nothing. I found a letter from my future self In true to form it was little help Cause these useless lines Were all that I wrote Yeah, you shine like something that shines And you ring like something that rings No, there are no words to describe such a beautiful thing. It's kind of a jab at just sort of songwriting in general because you're like, oh, you find this sort of metaphor that's like, you're like this and it's this, and that expresses all of these other things. And it's like, no, there's no reason to even try and describe how I feel about this because it's so much more than anything that I could come up with. Black and he played on this record was uh, passed away recently, and that was his favorite of the songs that we played. And I mess it up every time we play it. Blackbirds flying backwards on the wind. The filling sails are sending boats that won't sail home again. Four and twenty wings upon the night. Somewhere lover sings a song with no reply. We got to play it live together once, and I played it in the entirely wrong key. And we never got a chance to play it right, and I think that, um, I think that might be why I, I fuck it up every time we play it. Are you gonna play it tonight? We'll play it tonight. I'm gonna get through it tonight. I think it's gonna happen.
Cheers.